Hey guys, we are live today on Facebook. It's Tuesday, it's three o'clock, and we are ready for our live session. And today we are talking about failure and how to view failure and how to handle failure and what you can do when you fail. So a big thing that we always get, the question that I always get is, Albert, how do you handle failure? And we will talk about that today. But first, a few announcements. Uh, this week we are marketing our How to Entrepreneur event a lot. Uh, it's the 7th of June. It's called How to Entrepreneur and we're going to have four speakers. It's going to be Gabriel Kleiman, Franco Leibrand, me, myself, Albert van Wijk and then Marnus Broodrijk. And we're going to talk about entrepreneurial basics. Um, Gabriel is going to talk about confidence. Franco is going to talk about mindset. I'm going to talk about business basics. And Marnus is going to share on lessons that he's learned uh, that you can implement in your business as an entrepreneur. So it's going to be an awesome event. It's going to be how to entrepreneur. It's in Pretoria at Loft at 9. And it's the 7th of June. And you can get your tickets on my um, on my Facebook page or even on my website uh, or on www.howtoentrepreneur.co.za guys so that's how to entrepreneur that's just a bit of news this week and uh, then from my side we're gonna talk today about failure how do you deal with failure and what do you do when you fail now the first thing that you should keep in mind uh, when you experience failure is that you should view it differently okay it's not always, you shouldn't always view it as a failure. You should view it as a school, as a learning experience. And I always challenge people, I tell them, how much are you paying for your industrial engineering degree? It's four years that you study, where you write tests, where you fail some of them, where you succeed in some of them, and where you learn for four years and you pay a decent amount of money to get that course, to do that uh, degree, um, to complete it. And then, only then, you can practice as an industrial engineer, as a professional industrial engineer. And now my question to you is, what about entrepreneurship? What about entrepreneurship? When do you study entrepreneurship? How much do you pay? How much, you know, tests do you write where you fail or succeed? And if you look at it from that point of view, it changes the word, word failure for you. Because now you're thinking, hey, um, this is actually a degree that I'm doing in entrepreneurship. So give yourself four years, give yourself two to four to three years where you're now going to study entrepreneurship. Okay, with entrepreneurship, you can study while you know, implementing. You can implement, learn, implement, learn, and do a practical degree or study that you're doing in entrepreneurship. But you still have to study. You still have to read the books. You still have to do the tests, the tutorials, the practicals. You have to implement and learn from that. And you're also going to fail some of these tests. Where you get your mark back and your mark and you see, oh, I didn't get this right. And now you change that and you write the next test. So if you view on your entrepreneurship journey like that, you'll see, okay, it's very similar to studying a subject. You learn, you implement, you fail, you change, and you write tests and you walk through your journey like that. And similarly, when it comes to the payment, you also have to pay. It's similar to a degree where you have to pay tutoring fees or school fees to go study that degree. And with entrepreneurship, it's similar as well. You're going to lose some money. You're going to make some mistakes which are costly. But you can see that. You can view that as payment for your studies. And I think if you view it that way around, if you view it with this perspective, it changes the word failure and it changes the way you see entrepreneurship and how you walk through your journey as an entrepreneur. So I hope this gives you a lot of value today in terms of failure and how you see it and how you view it. Okay guys, so that's about failure. How do you view it? Uh, we have some problems with Instagram today, it's not live. Normally we have about 12 to 18 viewers on there that interactively ask questions. On Facebook, I can't view who's asking questions, only on Instagram. So today I'm just sharing from my side, but if you have any questions throughout the week, send them through. 
and we will answer them on a Tuesday at three o'clock. So we talked a bit about failure, right? How do you view it? Now, what do you do when you experience failure? Because when you experience failure, it can be very detrimental to your self-esteem, to how other people view you, to how you feel about yourself after failing at something. And that can be very tough on you as a person. And what you need to do is you need to disassociate yourself from that event, from that failure. You need to disassociate. Because I always use the example of a baker, right? Let's say you have a baker and you're baking a cake and this baker bakes a cake and he wants to bake the perfect cake for all of his friends and family to enjoy. And he follows his recipe that he has, he puts the cake in the oven and he takes the cake out of the oven. Now let's say that cake was a flop. It came out really, really bad. What happened? Was it the fact that the baker was a bad baker or did he just have the wrong recipe? Because remember the baker is just following a recipe uh, when he creates uh, everything that needs to go in the flour the sugar um, you know everything that the milk and water and everything that needs to go in to create this cake and if he gets his recipe wrong his cake will be a flop but does it mean that the baker is a bad baker no it does not he just has a recipe that he follows so the first thing when you experience failure is disassociate from that failure it's not you that's a terrible or bad entrepreneur it's not you that is a failure it's not you that is a you know a, a bad entrepreneur and you should do something else it might be just because you have the wrong recipe now in terms of being an entrepreneur there's a lot of things that goes into your recipe what's your working hours how many books have you read what what's your knowledge input to that recipe what's your experience input to that recipe how many small businesses have you had how many lessons have you learned how many times have you tried um, I mean that's the experience of going into the recipe you have the knowledge that's going into the recipe you have the work hours you have the drive or the passion that goes into the recipe and there's a lot of things you have the processes that goes into the recipe you have the other skills like soft skills like your human resources your mindset your confidence the way you work with your staff the way you work with other people in terms of sales and marketing so there's a lot of these things that goes into the recipe and you need to make sure that your re recipe sorry guys <coughs> that your recipe is correct because if you change your recipe today you can get a different result tomorrow so as an entrepreneur, when you experience failure, make sure, look, take a look at your recipe. How is your recipe put together? And if you change that, I promise you, you'll get a different result tomorrow. So don't see yourself as the failure. Disassociate and make sure you see that it's just a recipe that needs to be changed. But you as an entrepreneur is not the failure yourself. It's only that the fact that you have the wrong recipe. And if you change that, you can have a different result tomorrow. So guys, in terms of failure, there's two things. You need to view it differently, view entrepreneurship as a learning curve, as a school that you go through, which you have to write tests, which you will fail some tests, you will succeed and pass some tests, you will have to pay some tutoring fees as you go through this journey. And then secondly, when you fail, don't take it personally. Disassociate and see that you can change your recipe to get a different result tomorrow cool guys that's my two cents on the live session every tuesday at three uh, remember to check out our event how to entrepreneur it's gonna be gabriel franco myself and marnes brodrak and we're gonna share tips like this on how to become an awesome entrepreneur cool guys see you next week tuesday at three